Welcome to the next episode of LEGO World. And today's episode, we are going to show two new showcases. That has just recently come out. Sorry, I haven't been on this weekend. I've been a little busy with some other things. And the showcases I'm about to show are very, very interesting showcases. I kind of like them in terms of what they had. So while I'm waiting for this to load up, it's been an interesting um, week this week. This week's actually Shark Week, and Sci-Fi's got this uh, Shark Marathon going on. So I've been watching that while doing other things. And I went to uh, the store today to see if I can get something, but found out it was too expensive for right now. I'll see if I can get a cheaper one when the cheaper ones come out. But for right now, that's video. One of my one or two videos are on hold. So here I'm letting the building models load in. And it makes me wonder if we'll be getting any other showcases we laded to this space theme They gave us two face new face plates with two new vehicles as the showcase and some interesting things I liked about this um face plate. So we're going to just jump into it. This ain't gonna be a long video. So the first one I'm going to do is the f Space Scooter Base. Is what they're calling it. And I noticed there's a treasure chest here. But it's not discoverable. And that's got me intrigued. What that is. So let's just have a look around. It seems we already have everything 
on this, except for the vehicle itself, which is the space scooter itself. So yeah, that's the only new thing out of it, plus you get in the um, base for it. So yeah, I hit the treasure chest, and look at all those studs. Oh wow. That's a lot of studs. That's worth it. And I was curious about the other faceplate. Which is the mineral detector base. I was going to try and line it up, but because I have it the way I have it, I'm just going to put it a little bit slightly above the other one. There's another treasure chest. And the only thing we don't have, of course, is the vehicle itself, which is the mineral detector. Which is very interesting, but yeah, I will take the chest. The chest gets a lot of studs. So let's take a look at this mineral detector. This looks like a cool vehicle. It's got these um, detectors on, on it, like suction cups that have pulsating green lights that goes around in circles. And I have flames coming out of my vehicle. But it lays down road, it says. And I was curious what type of road it lays down. And it's got this glow in the glowy road um, type coming out of it and it's very interesting what type of road this is supposed to be if it's supposed to be a painted road or just a road glow like a glowing dark type road So yeah, I turned it off just to see how the vehicle handles. Which the vehicle handles pretty good. And it has a horn, which is pretty nice. So that's an interesting vehicle. So now let's take a look at this space scooter. Which has ability to fire has a horn and you can also steer it what the only downside with this one I th think is it doesn't have the ability to fly like a plane or anything I think it's just that it's just a scooter like a car vehicle so, they're both in my vehicle section. I had to go look them up. To see where they're at. There's the space scooter. Which costs 10,000 studs. And the mineral detector. That costs 10,000 studs. So, yeah. These are pretty cool vehicles. I would say so myself. Not much of a showcase. I mean, you're getting... I think you're getting two new face bases and you're getting t t two vehicles so it's not a bad showcase I think it would have been better if they added a little bit more to it that we could have gotten but who knows they might have better stuff down the line and I can't wait to see what's c coming out next I mean this came up on me. I didn't know anything about, about this one. So yeah, I was kind of surprised. So these were pretty interesting 
um, vehicles and stuff that I can use in my space builds. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer them. As of right now, I'm not sure how many videos will be going up. It all depends on my internet right now. So, you just gotta bear with me at this point. I just took two days off from putting videos up because I'm having a thing with the internet. So, hopefully I'll get it fixed. I'm not sure. And I'll see you guys in the next LEGO Worlds episode.